We use soap every single day. We use it to wash our hands, clean clothes, and really just to stay clean in general. There are bacteria everywhere and using soap to stay clean is the key to stay healthy and sick free. Before soap was invented, some cultures, especially the Europeans, did not know how to stay clean or healthy. You will be very surprised to hear that before Europeans knew about soap, they washed their clothes with ashes and pee. Yes, you heard that, right? Pee, like the one we do in the toilet. I know, it's disgusting. They use disgusting pee to get rid of the stains on their clothes. Surprisingly, this actually did work, but it was not healthy at all. To stay healthy, it is very important to take a bath. Back in the olden days, there were only public open baths. The ancient Greeks and Romans used to take a bath once a week or every other week. But when Christianity came to Europe, they did not like the public open baths because of the men and women's privacy. So the churches tried to stop the public baths and convince the people that the regular public baths were immoral, sinful, and were spreading diseases. Since public baths had many germs, they thought the best way to solve the problem was to not take baths at all because they thought it was more clean. They would also make excuses saying that warming up the water during the winter would take too long. But this logic made no sense at all because even before the Christians came, their ancestors long ago used to bathe because they knew the importance of being clean. The main reason why Christians were coming up with lazy excuses was so they didn't have to bathe because they didn't want to be like the Muslims or Jews who would bathe regularly. So, day by day, Christians started convincing others not to bathe by saying that it would help them be saved from diseases. Even Queen Isabella of Spain herself only bathed twice in her entire lifetime. This also convinced many people to only bathe once or at most twice the entire year once in the fall and the other in the spring. Now, as you can imagine, because they barely bathed, they were really stinky all the time. In order to hide their disgusting smell, they started using strong perfumes. Sometimes men carried small bags with herbs that smelled good and the women used nice smelling powders. As time went by, they truly believed that because they were not showering, they were finally different from the Muslims and Jews. And they thought that they were protecting themselves from germs, but this is not true at all because they did not keep themselves or their surroundings clean and it was nasty all around them. This bad habit of Christians not bathing and staying clean eventually led to the Black Death, which is one of the most saddest histories of all time. Between 75 to 200 million people died in Europe between the years 1346 to 1353. That many people died only in the span of seven years. So while the Europeans were suffering because they didn't stay clean, Islam started to spread the importance of being clean. In fact, in Islam, cleanliness or being clean is considered half of the religion. In Surah Baqarah, verse 222, 
Allah says that He loves those who purifies or cleans themselves. So, from the beginning, Muslims tried to find ways in order to stay clean. The most important invention in order to stay clean was soap. And this great invention was created by the genius Muslim scientist Muhammad ibn Zakaria al-Razi, who invented the recipe for modern soap bars. People made soap before him, but a lot of them thought it was disgusting since it was made from gross animal fat. This is why barely anyone used soap. Muhammad ibn Zakaria al-Razi changed the recipe so that it wasn't gross anymore and more people would use it. He was also Iranian, born in the year 845 AD and died in 925 AD. He was a chemist, physician, and philosopher who became a hero to the entire world with his new invention of the modern soap bar. Later, many other Muslim scientists like Al-Zahrawi improved the recipe for the soap bars. The Muslims used soap to clean their bodies, to clean their clothes, and really to clean anything. They also wanted their soaps to smell good, so they added natural things like thyme, oranges, and lime. The Muslim inventors made the soap recipe in such an easy way that people started to make it all the time. Soon, soap became extremely common in the Muslim world. Later, that Muslim invention of hard soap spread across Europe and showed people how to live in a clean way in their daily lives. It showed them that if they stayed clean, they would be more healthy and more sick free. That great Muslim invention basically saved millions of Europeans' lives and made a huge difference in this world. Brother Ar-Razi and Al-Zahrawi were true great Muslim heroes whose invention made a great difference in this world. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward our Muslim brothers for their great invention and give them the highest place in Jannah. Amin. And next time, when you use soap, be proud that our Muslim brother is the reason why we can live in a very clean, non-smelly, and healthy way. Also, please let us know how you feel about our Muslim Hero series. If you have any other ideas or other heroes, please let us know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our videos with all of your friends and family. And until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.